A representative from Collierville Schools confirms one of their employees at Collierville High School tested positive for COVID-19 on Friday. The specific job that employee does at the school was not released. Infectious disease specialist for Baptist Memorial Hospital, Dr. Steve Threckeld, says COVID-19 cases at local schools this year will not be unusual. I think we're going to definitely see that. I mean, if you look at the CDC guidance for parents and schools, it's very nebulous. There are a lot of disclaimers and it's not very specific because very frankly, it's impossible to know, you know what's going to happen. Collierville School says the employee and all appropriate individuals are self-quarantining for 14 days. Collierville is planning to return to class August 17th with the choice between virtual learning or a hybrid model combining virtual and in-classroom learning. Each school district has a different plan, with most districts offering options for virtual learning. Dr. Threckelt says every district and even every school is different in how they should uniquely plan to respond to COVID-19 cases in schools. Some people will have better geography. They'll have more buildings available. It'll be easier to quarantine people. Um, so I think, I think that flexibility will, in fact, be necessary. Earlier in the week, parents in Collierville protested, demanding the school district offer traditional five days a week of classroom learning after the district changed to only offering virtual or hybrid options a little over a week ago. We need a five-day option because people are really struggling in, in Collierville, Tennessee. There's a lot of research to back up the fact that if kids don't go to school five days a week, that the achievement gaps become wider, that, um, that children suffer uh, socially as well as educationally. Dr. Threckelt says it will be important for some students to return to in-classroom learning for sociological reasons, such as food insecurity. His advice for school administrators is to prepare and expect a possible widespread outbreak of COVID-19 during this unprecedented school year. The important thing is to have that plan. And that's a harder plan to, uh, to develop. And it's one that I think is, is going to be key. Plans for that will be the sort of thing that keeps schools from just throwing up their hands and closing in frustration and sort of panic. On July 22nd, three Collierville High School football players also tested positive for COVID-19. We're told those players are currently resting at home. Now, Dr. Threckeld says the hope is that a rapid response saliva test for COVID-19 which is being developed right now, can be released with a relatively low cost. And if that happens in time, it could be a game changer for our local schools. Reporting live, Chris Luther, WMC Action News 5.